Hey everybody, welcome to Let Your Art Out. We're doing index card week number 23. Prompts this week were stripes, numbers, and orange. So I decided I was going to do a, a kind of a whimsical face on this one. And uh, full disclosure, I totally forgot about the numbers until towards the end. So yeah, so I'm just following the, you know, the basic rules for a face, um, splitting the face in half and then putting the eyes about halfway down, the nose halfway from the eyes down to the chin, and then the mouth halfway between the nose and the chin. And uh, like I said, just doing a whimsical kind of looking face here where my stripes are coming in. And I'm going to put a couple more details on here. So this one I'm going to be doing with scribble sticks. So I'm basically just drawing in everything first. And then I'll come in and color it. Um, kind of like crayons. And then use a, a brush and water to dissolve the crayons to look more like um, paint. I mean, that's what scribble sticks are. They're uh, water soluble acrylics. So, yeah, adding uh, these cute little eyelashes because you can't have a whimsical without eyelashes. And now I'm erasing all my lines where they shouldn't be because the uh, scribble sticks, depending on what color you're using, they can be somewhat translucent. So I'm starting out with sand and I'm just putting in um, this more dark tone, I guess you would call it, um, where I think the shading is going to be. And it ends up not really making a difference because I ended up using a little bit too much water. So everything just blended together anyway. And um, yeah, adding some cheeks, doing the uh, lips. Now I'm doing the eyes. Like I said, I just colored the whole thing. Um, at this point, most of it, I should say, and, um, then I, uh, used the water to kind of blend it all in. So I decided I was going to do like a orange, since their eyes were blue, the hair was, is planned to be blue. Th thought I would do a, you know, like a sunset orangey type background to complement the blue hair and blue eyes. Speaking of hair, here I am. So I thought I would do kind of like a pin curl look. I'm not sure how successful I was with this, but I ended up liking it. Um, yeah. So here I am with the uh, water and the brush and I'm just dropping water down. I'm trying to maintain where I have those colors but yeah it's just not working and I totally forgot to mention that this is a gessoed background so <clears throat> if I were using this on a non-gessoed background this wouldn't this paint would not be moving as easily and freely as it is so um, if you plan on using the scribble sticks in this way then you probably do want to uh, gesso the background um, so that you don't get the, you know, the crayon marks unless you want them. The crayon marks and it blends really nicely. Just like you were using, you know, paint out of a bottle. So another thing with scribble sticks is you kind of want to start, and I think this is probably common sense or logic, but um, typically you want to start with your lighter color and start blending with that and then you know wiping your brush as needed all the way up and then wipe your brush and then kind of blend down again and you're now blending you know from the bottom up and the top down and should have a nice blend filling in the black and white edging and using the brush kind of, you know, dissolve that paint and yeah, so drying that and I'm going to come in with some pens and a Posca pen 
um, just to fill in you know where the white was just to make it more white and then I'll be coming in with some fine liner pens sharpie pens um, these are water soluble so some pens have a real hard time writing on the scribble sticks um, just like gelatos but not nearly as bad gelatos are nearly impossible to write on but yeah just outlining and filling in where the lines are switching pens as needed So yeah, that's when I was going to <clears throat> go ahead and say, okay, this was done and put it into my index um, holder, which you'll see here shortly and realized, oh boy, I forgot the numbers. So now I'm taking a stencil and I'm taking a, a Q-tip and some water and basically lifting up that paint with some water on the Q-tip. Didn't think that it showed enough, so now I'm just using the stencil and, and uh, tracing in some black so you can see those numbers in the background. So something that I do when I'm not sure what I want to do is I'll fiddle. And, you know, I'll say, okay, I do want to do this, so I'll do this while I'm thinking if there's anything more I want to do. And I decided that I would do a sentiment that says you are more than just a number. And hoping then that people would notice the numbers in the background because it's not all that obvious. But they're there. You guys saw me put them on. So now I'm grabbing my index journal book, my index card book, um, grabbing a pre-made tag, writing down the week, the prompts, and the date that I completed this. Gluing that to the page after I clear the nozzle and then pulling off the tape and adding a little bit more glue and putting that on the binding. And that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it inspires you to try those scribble sticks. They are a blast. And um, if you have any questions or suggestions for new com content, please just go ahead and leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Bye.